Hi Leo, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing a freestyle reading, taking a look at the current energies between you and your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings, and also my readings are for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. One more thing I wanted to say is please be careful of scammers that are out there pretending to be me. If you receive a message from someone telling you to contact them with a phone number or with an email or anything like that, please be aware that is not me, those are scammers. Please ignore those messages and be careful not to get scammed. I will never send you a message telling you to contact me in any way, okay? All right. All right, Leo, so let's take a look at the current energy between you and your person, the current energy of the connection between you and your person. Let's see. All right, spirit angels and guys, please show me the energy of the connection between Leo and their person. Thank you so much, spirit. At the bottom of the deck, we do have King of Pentacles. Some of you might be dealing with an earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. We have the hangman, could be a Pisces. The strength card could be another Leo. Ace of Pentacles is here. The fool could be an Aries. Justice could be a Libra. Nine of Swords. Hmm. Queen of Cups is here. Boy, look at this energy, man. There's definitely a new beginning that's being, like, delayed, postponed, uh, procrastinated over. It's, it's, in, it's, it's there, though. It's, it's lingering around you and this person, this opportunity, um, Ace of Pentacles. Not lingering, you know, it's like floating in the air, but it's not manifesting into reality. It's not materializing into physical reality. But the opportunity is there. You feel it, they feel it, both of you feel it. There's potential here. There's potential for something for something real, for something serious, for something committed, for something stable, long-term. With the Ace of Pentacles, justice is here, marriage even. But it's being stalled for some reason. I don't know why. With the Strength card... Um, and the Two of Swords and the Queen of Cups, it's being stalled. Somebody does really want to make an offer here for a, for a serious relationship, for a commitment. But they're, they're stopping themselves. It could be a third party situation with the Three of Pentacles and the Three of Swords here. I also feel like someone is overthinking things too much with the Nine of Swords. There's a lot of overthinking energy, a lot of fears and anxieties over this new beginning, over the potential that exists between you two. It's really good, though. It's a really good energy. 
but someone is feeling overwhelmed with the nine of swords it might be like too too much too soon type of energy too much too soon But I don't know. We'll see. Let's take a look at the individual energy so we can get a clear picture of the full story here. That's the energy of the connection. Both of you obviously are wanting each other and um, desiring each other. I feel like there's mutual, like there's mutual interest, mutual desire, mutual love, you know, mutual feelings. All right, who do I want to start with? I feel like you, Leo, because you're showing up here pretty strongly. Yeah, let's take a look at you. All right. Spirit, angels, and guys, show me the energy of Leo, please. Um, the current energy regarding this person and their connection or relationship with this person. Thank you, Spirit. Oh boy, Leo, look at that. King of Swords at the bottom of the deck. And we have also Eight of Swords, the Emperor, Three of Swords, the Ten of Cups, the Five of Wands, and the Seven of Swords. What's going on here? King of Swords, King of Cups, Hierophant. Whoa. Oh, geez, Empress, Fool. Well, you're not playing around, Leo. You are not playing around. Hmm. Some of you like are wanting to get married. There's a big, strong marriage energy here. Like that's what that's what you're you're striving for. You're striving for commitment and marriage. Or you know, just not all of you. Some of you just you're striving for commitment for a real relationship, for an honest, real relationship. Uh, and also with the Empress, it's kind of like you're striving for a mutual relationship where you love someone and they love you equally in return. That's important for you. That's important to you. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with the Hierophant and the Empress, that's, that's an important factor for you. You're not interested in one-sided relationships. You, you want to receive exactly what you give. You definitely know your worth. Mm -hmm. You know your worth here. You're very confident. You're very confident in yourself, in what, in what you can give and what you can offer. And what you're capable of. I, I feel like you're there's an there's an energy of like all or nothing with you. Yeah, look at the Ten of Cups. Exactly. The Ten of Cups is kind of all that is that energy of all or nothing. You want it all or you want nothing. You don't want, you know, you don't want to be in the middle. You don't want an open relationship. I feel like that's something that's standing out here. You don't want an open relationship. You want a relationship that's committed and that's loyal. What is with this Knight of Wands energy? Knight of Wands, Knight of Cups. Yeah, this is what you feel like you're getting. Yeah, Knight of Wands and the Knight of Cups. This is what you feel like you're getting and what you're not really interested in with the Queen of Cups. 
yeah, some of you might feel like the people you've been attracting have been have been people that are very inconsistent or that like are very intense and very passionate, but then they switch up on you and they change and they turn into somebody else. And the Knight of Wands can be like a, a player. Some of you might feel like you've been dealing with players. Or you've been dealing with people who just want, you know, um, a sexual relationship and nothing more. But I, I, I'm getting real strong here. Like there's an energy here of you saying, I don't want players. I want, I want a husband, I want a wife, or I want, I want someone to build a life with, with the 10 of cups. I want to have a family. But you, you're, you have big, big wishes here, big goals, big dreams, Leo. But I like this King of Swords energy. I mean, you're not, you're not scared of anything, are you? With the King of Swords, it's like, you, you don't have any fears with the King of Swords. You're not intimidated. Uh, no. You know, you don't have you don't have any problems, you know, going all in and you know like you like putting your egg, putting all your eggs into one basket, like you just you're just scared that it won't be reciprocated. That's your only fear to be betrayed with the three of swords. To be betrayed, to be deceived. And we do have the Seven of Swords here, so you are feeling a little bit like you can't trust this person. You might you might be seeing red flags with whoever you're dealing with. Yeah, I feel like you you're sensing some red flags here. And with the Emperor here, it's like you want to know what's going on with the Emperor. And we have the five of wands here, so there might be conflict that's um, occurring between you and this person, or you might feel like this person is provoking conflict or creating conflict or drama, and you don't want that. You're, you're not in the mood for conflict from anyone with the emperor. Like, you want this person to be ready and to be prepared to, to start a life with you. You're not going to, you know, tolerate inconsistencies from anyone or back and forth energy from anyone. You want this person to be ready, you know, ready to go. Because I feel like that's how, you, that's, what you, that's what your energy is like, you're, you're ready to go. There's nothing holding you back, but I feel like even if there were something trying to hold you back, you wouldn't let it because I feel like you believe strongly in yourself and you believe strongly in what you want and what you desire and what you want to achieve. And you're very determined to, to have success in, in, and to manifest the things that you desire. But with the Empress card, you definitely have your, you know, rules, your standards, and you're not gonna compromise on those standards. You're very firm. You're very firm in, in, in what you know you deserve. Yeah, powerful energy here, Leo. So let's take a look at your person, see how they're responding to you. 
I really like your energy. Very strong energy and um, confident, bold, brave. Hmm. And determined. All right, let's see your person. You do feel like you're in the dark here with the Eight of Swords. You feel like this person has you in the dark about their motives, their intentions. Hmm. Leos can be very generous, but when when they run out of patience, you know, they become that lion, that ferocious lion. It's best to run away at that point. <laughs> All right, spirit angels and guides, please show me the energy of the person Leo is connecting to and dealing with in love. What is their current energy regarding Leo and regarding this connection or relationship that they, that they have with Leo? Thank you, spirit. Oh boy, two of wands at the bottom of the deck with the three of wands. For some of you, there's physical distance between you two, long distance. Here of wands might be dealing with a Taurus, chariot could be dealing with a Cancer, king of swords, Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra, six of swords, and the nine of wands. Well, this person is definitely doing a lot of thinking here. They're thinking about this relationship. Um, they're giving it, you know, they're giving it a lot of thought. They're giving it a lot of serious thought. Yeah. We do have the Hierophon here. Um, The Hierophon. I feel like this person understands what is at stake. They know that, you know, a commitment, a long-term relationship is what is at stake. Okay, so they understand what they're, what they're signing up for. Mm-hmm. But I feel like they're thinking about whether they're ready to sign up for that or not. For for a commitment, a long-term relationship, stability with long-term stability with someone. Hmm. Two of Wands, Five of Swords, Six of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. Okay. Queen of Wands, Ace of Wands. Oh my God, look at this energy of Ten of Wands again. Nine of Wands first, and then the Ten of Wands, Ace of Wands, and the Queen of Wands. This, this person is having a hard time making a decision for sure. They want you. They feel really passionate about you. There's a lot of desire here that they have for you. But they are having a hard time, you know, making that change in their life making it's it's a big change for them i don't know why it's a big change for them 
What's holding this person back? I feel like I need to ask directly. Spirit, what's holding this person back from um, Leo, please? Uh, please show me. Thank you, Spirit. The sun is holding them back. Well, the sun represents your energy, Leo. Oh, I see. I got it. And the seven of pentacles. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I, you know what it is? Um, yeah, what's holding them back is the sun, which is your energy, energy, Leo. It's very powerful energy, very intense energy. Um, they're... Their fear is that they're not going to be good enough for you or that they're not that, that they're currently not good enough for you. This is someone with an inferiority complex. Mm -hmm. They look they they're looking at you as the sun, which you are, and they're feeling intimidated. They're feeling like like they can't measure up to to what you are to or like to who you are to what you represent. You shine, it's like you shine really brightly and this person feels like they can't match up to you. Yeah, this person feels like they're gonna disappoint you. They're gonna disappoint you once you realize that they're not all that great as, as you maybe are thinking they are. That's what I feel like this person is saying. They're, they're saying, Leo thinks I'm this great person, but they don't really know me all that well yet. And once they get to know me better, they're going to realize that I'm not all that great, that, ha that I have a lot of issues, that, you know, that I, um, I'm, I'm lacking in many ways. And they're, they're going to get disappointed. Yeah, I feel like this person just has a lacking mindset or like a poor, like a poor mindset. Yeah, they do, they do. Especially, especially with the nine of wands, this person feels like they're not, they're not at your level. They're nowhere near at your level. And they feel like you, you're not seeing that or you, you're not recognizing that. They feel like you, you might be looking at them as someone who's really great and they don't feel like they're great. You know, personally and internally, they don't feel like they're all that great. So I'm actually sensing a little bit of low self-esteem, you know, with this person. Self-esteem issues. Anything else, Spirit? Let me see if there's something else. Yeah, something about money also for some of you, not all of you with the Seven of Pentacles. What's holding them back is the Seven of Pentacles. What's holding them back is the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I was saying all that. Seven of Pentacles can sometimes be kind of like a, a poverty energy. You see, she looks like she she looks like she's kind of giving that impression in that in this card. Someone who like has to work all their life, or like who someone who has to like struggle or all, all their life to to make ends meet. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, I feel like that's the, the the biggest issue here with this person or one of the biggest issues. Anything else? Let me see if there's anything else. I want to look at the three of wands here. What's going on with the three of wands spirit? Yeah, um, 
The Knight of Wands, uh oh, the Knight of Wands and the Star. Hmm. That's not good. You know, the Knight of Wands showed up on your side of the reading, Leo, and that's exactly what you don't want, actually. That's how they're showing up here as the Knight of Wands, and they know it. You see, that's, that's the thing. They know that they're not a king. They know that they're not a king, that all they are is a knight. And they know they, they're looking at you as the sun. They're looking at you as someone who, who deserves a king or a queen, you know, male or female, doesn't matter. Mm. Uh, yeah. Also, the Knight of Wands is someone who has trouble settling down. Like, they, they're very good at starting things, but they're not really good at following through with what they start or with, you know, with completing things. Oh, I see. So this person is very self-aware with the King of Swords. Yeah, that's what's holding them back. They're very self-aware of who they are. And they can't help feeling like you're going to get disappointed. And also, apart from that, they're not really sure if they can trust themselves to actually, you know, follow through with a commitment with the, with the Hierophant because they know that's what you want. And they're not really confident that they can follow through with that. It's something that they want right now. The Hierophant, yeah. I feel like it's something that, you know, attracts them, you know, it, it, you know, they think about it, they think about commitment, settling down with someone, having stability with someone, and it, it attracts them. They like the idea, but they don't know if they can actually follow through with that. Like, it's almost like, it sounds good on paper, but I feel like that's what they're thinking. Like, it sounds good on paper, but in reality, it might not be so, you know, so great as it, as it seems. That's what they're telling themselves. Like, yeah, commitment sounds nice, but it sounds nice on paper. I just don't know that it... It's actually um, something that I really want. You know? The star. Knight of Wands and the star. All right, let me see what else. Tell me about the... Let's look at that Hierophant, actually. Let me see if I can get a deeper understanding of that Hierophant card from their perspective. Spirit, thank you. Yeah, look at that, Ten of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles. Hmm. Interesting. Wow. Well, you know what? what's going on here? I feel like this person, I think I get what's going on. This person underestimates themselves, unfortunately. Yeah. I think they're capable, um, they're capable of more than they think they are. They're selling themselves short. Yeah, they are. Um, they're scared of commitment. They are scared of commitment. But I feel like if this person, you know, really kind of put it, um, how can I say? If they put their mind to it, you know, if they put their mind to it, if they put their heart, their all of their heart into it and their mind, I feel like, they'd be surprised how, how happy, how happy they would feel being in a commitment, being in a long-term relationship with someone, settling down with someone. You know, I feel like deep down inside, it is something that they want and it is something that they're capable of, but I feel like they're, they're selling themselves short. They're underestimating themselves. 
And, you know, that's unfortunate. That's also something you can't do anything about. That's just their mentality. But yeah, I feel like they're they're a lot more capable than of what than what they think they are. Mm-hmm. There's a there's a lot of negative self talk with this person. That's the problem. A lot of negative self talk. Tell me about this um, King of Swords spirit. Look at that, four of cups and the six of cups. This person misses you. Four of cups and the six of cups, yeah. They miss you a lot, Leo. Hold on, let me get a visual here. This is definitely someone who's missing you. They're thinking about you. They're feeling very nostalgic over you. Um, but it's sad because I feel like this person is is complacent, you know. They're complacent. They're they're too scared to really take a risk, to take a chance. They're they're keeping themselves stuck. And they're they're blocking their own blessings, basically. They're blocking their own blessings. Most likely outcome spirit between Leo and this person, please. Most likely outcome. Moving moving into the near future, please. there is a new beginning in love here between you and this person mm. yeah queen of pentacles judgment three of cups magician this kind of feels like there's an there's an inevitable new beginning between you two or an attempt an attempt towards a new beginning with you Ace of Cups. There's not a lot of action energy, though. To be honest, I, I feel like there, there might be an attempt. Yeah, I'm just going to be honest, Leo. As, and, it, and it's just, you know, the most likely outcome as of right now with this energy. I feel like there's going to be an attempt. It won't necessarily... It won't necessarily go all the way, though, because I'm looking at the Eight of Cups here with the Ace of Cups and the Seven of Cups. I don't like that. Seven of Cups is someone who's wishy-washy, especially with the Knight of Wands showing up here. Knight of Wands came up twice. Sorry, Knight of Cups. I'm sorry, Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups, King of Wands. Okay. Hmm. There's a lot of potential here, Leo, but I feel like there might be an attempt for a new beginning. I just don't feel like it's going to stick. You know, it's not going to go all the way through. As of right now, I mean, things maybe can change in the future, but as of right now, and again, it's like they're coming, they're coming towards you as a knight. And I just don't feel like you're going to settle for a knight, you know. It, it doesn't, no. I don't think so. You came up as king, two kings and an emperor. Like, no, it's, it just doesn't match, you know. Maturity level is, there's a big difference in, in your maturity level and their maturity level. It's just, I feel like passion is what's going to unite unite both of you, but it's not going to sustain the relationship, you know. All right, Leo, so I hope this helped you and hope it resonated. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.